All right, we're back out here with the box. I got a fully loaded one gallon jugs of water. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is a full loaded box, twelve gallons of water. We're going to be testing it this time again with our Steyr 308 SSG04. This time we're going to be shooting a, uh, a soft point lead nose fusion hunting round. Helping us get this done today, we have Evan with Oath. We got our Steyr SSG04 calibered in 308. This is a box of fusion that's 150 grain, that's a soft point um, copper jacket bullet. And we are going to see what kind of penetration we get on our box. All right, the carnage is rich. We got one down here, the one up front there. Looks like it popped pretty good. We got one more really good explosion. This one we got, looks like it is a through and through, busted it pretty good. Still a little water left in that one. And then we got one more penetration here. Looks like it did bust through. It went in and out the back and we have a lead bullet projectile inside of this jug. So we did catch the projectile. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Fifth jug caught it, so we'll call that four and a half. And that's uh, pretty good. So let's get this bullet out of here and compare it and see what it looks like. Some pretty decent expansion. When we get back to the shop, I'll get some measurements. You'll see that in the, uh, in the uh, captions below. But uh, overall, real pretty expansion. That uh, definitely did its job. Hey guys, Evan with Oath Ammo. We're going to be uh, shooting our gallon jugs of water again. Today we're going to be comparing it to the Oath Solid Copper Projectile. Shooting it out of our Steyr SSG04. Uh, this is going to be just a penetration test. Uh, in a previous video you might have seen we, we shot the uh, Fusion 308. We only got through about four and a half jugs. Let's see how well our copper does, solid copper does, against the lead, the lead core. All right, the wreckage looks pretty good. We got one came out of the front here. Then we got one pretty good explosion. Rip that thing apart. That's two. This one here is three. This one got a good puncture on it. It did exit the back here. It's that one's four and it looks like it's a clean jug so I'm guessing what happened is right there it looks like it diverted it's hitting this it's changing trajectory on these different impacts it looked like it struck here and ripped out the side here and probably went out somewhere into the woods but Looks like it still had plenty of energy to, to make good solid strike on the 2x4 and keep on moving. We're going to attempt it again and see if we can get one to stay in the box. Alright, this is going to be take two. Oath solid copper projectile against the water jugs. We'll see if we can't try and catch one of them this time. All right, looks like we got one, two jugs down. We got some 
most of a jug. Three, four, and again, number five is intact. We can't seem to keep this bullet inside of the box. Looks like here's where our ricochet exited this time, right over here on the side of the wood. Um, came back this way. Looks like it then tumbled here into the upright. Pretty good impact there and kept going. We got no, no pieces of the projectile again. It's going with enough energy to exit there and again head back out into the woods. All right, doesn't look like we're going to win it today, but it, uh, it was definitely fun giving it a try. Oh, actually, check this out. After ricocheting here, it came back, went into this jug right here. You see right there where my thumb went in and then exited again on this side and then took off so we got the it's the kennedy bullet there this thing curved and came back into the box again well it's been a lot of fun out here shooting today we're gonna have to stock back up on water drugs and give this a try another another time so be sure to check back with us head with ammunition thank you